what's up guy once again you're welcome to our channel today all right guys um it's no longer news that nandi kano's letter he wrote to simon ekpa was actually deemed to be fake by simon ekpa and totally rejected uh but this time around i think um uh barrister ag of four i think ag marco sorry ag marco was the one who actually broke out the information that um Nam Dikano actually wrote a letter directing Simon Ekpa to NC at home. But I but that was rebuffed by Simon Ekpa and rejected outright. Now the main lead counsel to Nam Dikano, Barrister Mike as a come has come out to narrate how Nam Dikano cried in DSS custody about the activities of Simon Ekwa. You know. So but however nobody knows who to believe because um if you listen to what he said, it looks somehow um a mix up. It appears mixed up. There may be element of truth in it. But I want I just want you guys to just listen to what Barrissa Mike is a is a is a son, S A N, senior advocate of Nigeria. Listen to what he said. The lamentation of Nam Dikano in DSS detention about the activities of Simon Ekpa. Listen to what he said, and then after that, we'll be back to analyze this video. He has told me, as his lead counsel, as his lawyer, that he does not believe in it, that he cannot be fighting for his people and be shutting down their economy. How do they feed? How would they train their children? Many a time he cried to me in my presence that he wants to be released so that he can hold a world press conference and address the Indigos and the Allegos and the entire world to say, don't stay at home on Mondays, go about your normal duties, walk. Because the Bible tells us it is upon the fruits of your hand. I will bless you the labor of your hands. So I'm now re-echoing it again and again what Nam Dikano has told me. He does not believe in that seat at home on Mondays, which cripples the social, economic, cultural, political life of the people, putting them under psychical, psychological, mental, structure. And All right, guys. So if you listen to what... Um Barrister Mike, as the comment said, he described there are a lot of discrepancies in what he has said. And I think um, that is the main reason why Simon Ekpa rejected that letter. That that letter is fake. It doesn't come from Nam Dekanu. If you must remember, during Nam Dekanu days, Nam Dekanu was all instituted the seat at home. Nam Dekanu instituted seat at home. I think I think the seat at home even predated Namdekano, he predates Namdekano, but Namdekano gave it another momentum again after Mosop, you know, uh, died off. Namdekano resurrected the city at home once again, and it was actually done to the fullest. It, in fact, when Namdekano even enacted it, it crippled the activities of the Southeast. It totally crippled it. What Namdekano was trying to drive at was trying to drive at the realization of Biafra and the shutting down of the economy of Nigeria. So, but um, now they kind of now changing tone now. It looks, it doesn't look like now they can. Because if you look at the, 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 the spirit with which now they can spoke those days, when he usually gave out his broadcast, you know, it's totally different now. This is a weak now they can Yes, we all know that the economy of the South is, is being affected seriously and people are beginning to speak out against Simon Ekpa that the two weeks in Adam, how will the people of the South East cope? How are they going to cope? So it's beginning to affect and it's now biting on top of even the fuel subsidy removal and then the two-week subsidy. I mean, it's biting. But let truth be told. I am not in support of the seat at home. I am not totally in support of it. But let truth be told, 
what uh Barista Mike is coming is actually saying now, I think it doesn't actually hold water. It doesn't hold water because it does not resemble Nam Dikano. And even if Nam Dikano happened to say this, this is coming from a weaker stand. It's coming from a weak point of view because this is what Nam Dikano stood for. It is not what he stood for. And that is why you see, you see, nobody will blame Simon Ekpa. Simon Ekpa is simply continuing from where Nam Dikano stopped. And that is why you see a lot of Biafrans now are now supporting Nam Dikano. In fact, let truth be told, it appears as if this is going to be the end of Nam Dikano. Totally. Although some people are still with Nam Dikano. A lot of beer fans are still, in fact, all beer fans still supporting Nam Dikano. But I feel right now, looking at what is happening, a lot of the majority of them are tilted towards Simon Ekpa. Even the almighty IPOB, that is the DOS, you know, uh, Department of IPOB, they are totally dead now. They are dead. It is Simon Ekpa that is taking over the wave. Simon Ekpa is the one leading now, or should I call it the autopilot part of the beer France? You know, that's what is leading right now. So, guys, um, looking at what Barris is coming, is I, I respect him so well. I respect Barris as a coming very well. Uh, but looking at what he had just said, to me, personally, to me, you know, I don't feel this at all reflect Namdi Kanu. If at all, let me assume I want to believe what he's saying. And if I thought this is actually Namdikan, I think this is weak Namdikan because it is um it goes far beyond what Namdikan stand for. It's far beyond what Namdikan actually stand for. Namdikan is very brutal toward the Nigerian system. He is very brutal. He is uncompromising. So, but looking at what he said, he appears is he to me he appears very compromising. Or did they actually cajole him? Did people beg him to? I mean, you know, a lot of people have visited Namdi Kano in DSA detention. They visited him, they have briefed him, they've begged him. Either he has changed his stance, I don't actually know if he has done that. But from my observation now, I stand to be corrected. I may be wrong. It appears to me this is not Namdi Kano. And if it is actually Namdi Kano, it appears he may have compromised. And that is why Simon Ekpa even said that he should Nam Dikano even be released. He will not even have a video chat with him. He will not even receive a text message from him, not even a call until Nam Dikano visit him in Finland. A lot of people interpret it to be Simon Ekpa have a sub Nam Dikano and totally taken under. That is betrayal. So, but what do you guys think? Please kindly just drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. This is Emma Come TV. God bless you all.